Hello. In this video, I want to talk about containers within Alteryx and how we can use them to segment different parts of our, our workflow up into and, and disable them if necessary and, and use them to, to create different portions that we can hide and show as necessary. So I've got a, an example module here. It's a, a cluster analysis module and it, it's got a few different parts. It, I've, I've done a field summary here just to look at the data showing me what the data was about. I've done a, uh, an analysis using the cluster segmentation analysis uh, tool to look at the correct number of uh, clusters. And then I've done my main portion of my analysis down here doing some clustering um, and, and some appending of those clusters. This bit is the main part. These parts were just parts of the module I built as I was investigating the data and building it out and I don't necessarily want these to run every time I run this module but I also want to keep them there because it's very important for me to keep the history of and my thought process within the module. Uh, the other reason for not wanting them to run every time is if we look at the output window this just took 1 minute 46 to to run mainly because of this tool here. And that's another reason for not wanting that to run every time. I just I just want to uh, to run it as necessary. And th these kind of situations where you've got perhaps parts of the module that have that don't need to be run every time are part of the um, preparation process, or or you've got um, parts that maybe uh, you want to to hide away. Th these are ideal for using containers. You'll find containers within the documentation area and you can pick them up and drag them onto the canvas. That will con create a container and you, you can give it a name. So here I'm going to give it a caption. I'm going to call it um, data investigation. Then I can drag these three tools in, pick them up and drop them in here. I can then close down and reopen that uh, that box. As I drag more tools in, this module will get bigger. And yep, you can close it down, move it around, but importantly also disable it. So now when I run this module, it's going to come down here, run these parts of the module, but this part isn't going to run is really useful it's going to cut down that 1 minute 46 straight away into 11 seconds so really nice way just to keep this flow moving but keep the history because as I come up here I can see exactly what I've done within my data investigation phase okay if I want to I can change the color change the transparency let's knock that up to 50 change the fill color to a nice orange color Beautiful. If I want to, I can do that again, drag down my container and put these elements in. I might want to leave this open, but it creates a nice little section here for me to segment my module. So I'm going to call this clustering work. If I drag this output here, you'll see when I collapse it, I still get my flow out and that's going to carry on running. Then when I run this, it's still going to run this because it's not disabled this time. In fact, it's going to run this one because I forgot to disable that. So I'm sure you don't want to sit here for 1 minute 46 while this, while this module runs. So I'm going to disable that again. And then you'll just have to wait the 11 seconds while we run through here. These are still running. We don't get a progress indicator this time, but I'm still going to get my output down here after those 11 seconds have run. This just going to show me the data within here exactly like we want. So break up your work, create different areas using containers and use them to turn off different parts of the module if maybe it was a blind alley that you want to keep or all the essential data preparation steps that you went through that don't need to be repeated. Just use them to, to break up your module. Really nice best practice tip for you. Hope you found that useful. Thanks for listening.